I'll drop it. Yes. It's a nice one, isn't it? Good girl. Get some duck of evening for it. Good girl. Good dog, Holly. Just a good girl. Get on, fetch it. Fetch it, go on. Go fetch it, go fetch it. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Good dog. Good girl. Good dog. What a good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Come here. Fetch him. Fetch him. Get on. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Here, here. here. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Right, now for a quick film, just to demonstrate some of the methods I've already taught you. And I'm going to do this at high speed to show two ducks being done. The tufted duck here and the drake mallard, rather pretty duck. Nice specimens, so, so I'd like to have a pair of them together. And I'm going to run it through without stopping, without discussing it, because I've already shown you the basics anyway. And this will just show you again, this will just re-establish quickly these, these traditional methods of taxidermy to do these wildfowl. So we've got these two rather nice specimens here, the tufted duck with his little tuft on top and the drake mallard. And we'll just paint the eyes first and then we're away to skin them and then uh, stuff the pad out, the, uh, the skinned areas of the wings and the legs, having removed all the mess from the brains and so on and the skulls. And then wire them and then we'll just set them up. So it's going to be as quick as that and you'll just see that being done at high speed here. I'm going to start with the eyes though, and you can see I've put a mixture of um, umber and a little bit of yellow into the Drake Mallard's eyes, just to give that slightly flecked, nice deep brown appearance.
Thank you.